everyone. <clears throat> Pardon. Welcome to Zade's Element. I'm Zade, and today's element is The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, Chapter 7. Ah, uh, Link looks ticked. Okay, we just defeated the big crustacean guy that was teasing Lord Valu's tail on Dragon Roost, and we're going to... we're about to find out. It would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place, but what that would mean... There is no time to lose. We must depart at once for the place where... <laughs> where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south! So I laughed. You know, my, I made like a funny noise there. My tongue like snapped or something. I don't know. Get in the boat! How do I get in the boat? I just push the button, right? Do I have to get on the side? Oh! Did he tell me to do it first? I guess it was just implied. He hinted. He's a hinter. The hinterland. Is that something dirty? The hinterland. <laughs> Sophia said on the Golden Girls. She let some guy take a peek at the hinterland. She said. Thank you, boat. They like, couldn't have just done it from inside the boat. I thought I'd be able to get a first-person view on the boat, but nope. <gasps> the music. The Great Sea! Uh-oh. Fish Man! <laughs> I make that noise all the time. Hi! Hold it right there, small fry. I think you might have Tingle's voice. <laughs> I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got there. But it looks to me like it's pretty much got nothing but seas drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart, if you ask me. <laughs> I like his laugh. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you've got a problem. And you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. <gasps> He's talking Harry Potter. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about the island, this island. So open up your sea chart and make it snappy. Ooh, I gotta find Beetle and get some some stuff. Get my not the spoils bag, the bait bag, and get some bait and some pears. A lot of little islands. I think you use the pears with the with the seagulls to give them a little. Little islands. Stuff up there. There's a real peculiar cave toward the backside of this here Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, real peculiar. But I doubt you'll ever get there to see it. Small fry. Unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Cause you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry. But I'll do this for you. Since I'm feeling so generous, I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island, sail up to it and spread bait out on the water's surface. Trust me, this is good advice, Fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island along with an inf any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. So, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chart to help you search for things out at sea. I can't emphasize that enough, Fry. You need a well-drawn chart. If you don't get a chart for every island you come across, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. Now, don't say I never did not anything for you, Fry. Oh, it's not over yet. Hi! You there, the kingly red lion guy. That's it. I've repaid my debt. I'm done. You take care of the rest. Gah, how do voice actors do it? My throat was already starting to hurt just from that, like, minute of talking. Ooh, put it away. Let me, you know, we're going to come across one anyway. So, there's really not much point. Okay, it's, ooh! <gasps> Forest Haven! Yes! I dig me some Forest Haven. Although, if I do go back now, I will be able to get bait. I'm so confused every time I play. Ooh, fire! Fire! Fish! I'm not, I'm not looking for fish, I'm looking for a beetle. I think I am going to make a quick 
you bangy. How do I how do I stop this? How do I stop? Oh, there we go. Okay. Real quick, boat. Going back to the north. Oh, I have to use the last stick. I'm pretty sure Beetle will be there. I want to say I remember swimming to him quite a few times. Perhaps he can give me his chart, too. I'm pretty sure he has a chart that shows you wherever he will be. All the islands he cruises around. <gasps> Is that it? It just popped up. I think it was just trees. Is that, that the fish? Holy cow, that fish guy jumps high. I'm gonna ram him. <gasps> yep, Beetle is there. I can see his boat. I'm pretty sure. My goodness, it's blurry. You know, I'm not one who needs HD, but once you have it, and you go back to a game like this, it's it's kind of uh, like a... Uh, whoa, where'd the graphics go? <laughs> not to say this game isn't awesome, because it's so awesome. Just, it is a little bit blurry. Could be the TV, maybe. Oh, thank you! I love Beetle. <laughs> oh! A customer! Welcome to Beetle's shop ship! I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. <laughs> or, do you see anything you like to buy? Oh, just use the control stick to browse. Joystick, dang it. He's gonna say thank you, oh my god, it's so awesome. This is the first time Beetle has been in a game I've recorded, isn't it? Yeah. He's gonna say thank you! You got the bait bag. You can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. Eight pouches for storing bait. Press those buttons, and then those buttons again. Oh. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! You're the greatest! I'll never forget you! I forgot his voice already. God darn it! I thought it was really good, though, the first time I was doing it. I'm gonna... There we go. I'm gonna make... I think. <laughs> just get on with it. A member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build off your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. Oh, since you're talking about the, my junk again. My shop is kind to its customers. The other shop, no other shop will do this sort of thing for you. I'll have you know. I couldn't read that for some reason. Now you have one point saved up. You should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. Oh, just use do I take the browse. No, the voice still isn't right. I think I do a pretty good thank you in... Oh! And... Wait, what? Is that the noise he made the first? When I first came in? Crud! Oh, I wasn't reading. Read him. Thank you! <laughs> thank you! Yes, thanks to you! Now you have two points saved up! Nailed it. <laughs> I think I got it. You should try to save up 30 points. You can earn a silver membership. Oh, just use boop a doop <laughs> Just use boop a doop Can't I buy a couple at a time? Oh, good. There's no, uh, like, thing going on. There's not going to be any. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thanks to you. Now, yeah, four points. Okay, I'll buy two pairs, and then I'm out of here. A hee-ho. A hyoi. How do you pronounce that? Hyoi. I'm pronouncing it hyoi. You got a... <laughs> He always pair. I was gonna do the beetle eyes. This special beetle eyes you take control of seagulls. That is a crazy, awesome, handy fruit. In real life, probably not, but it'll be fun. <laughs> you could be a seagull for a day. That'd be great. I was even saying how many points I have because I missed it when he said it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, thanks to you. We have six points. <laughs> Bye! Come again! I will, Beetle, because you are awesome, and you should be in Super Smash Brothers. I think he is... Kind of. I think is he on, uh... Skyloft? 
I'm, I think he's. I think he might just be in the background. But yeah, he needs to be in there somehow. He could be an assist trophy. He could drop down and you know like give people items and stuff. My God, I should work for Nintendo. Nintendo, hire me. <laughs> oh, that that is my dream job right there, Nintendo. Anything Nintendo, really. Even customer service. Not the whole dream, but a big chunk of it. Anything Nintendo would be a big chunk of the dream. Part of the dream. Because I do have a lot of other dream jobs, too, like making games and writing books. And possibly sword designing. <laughs> That's probably the weirder... The weirdest of my dream jobs. I can't really say it's actually a dream job of mine. There's a lot of swords that I've designed for my books. Okay, fish. There you are. Give us some bait. I wonder what that bait's made out of. I want to taste it. <laughs> Unless it's meat. I don't eat meat. Cruising for a bruise and where are you, fishy? Stop going in circles. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> and go! I would have been a little angry if Link threw on the other side. Ha! <laughs> I would have laughed at it like I kind of already did. Ah! I just sat on some swords. I have different swords in the chair today. <laughs> oh, I got some serious weird problems. Hi, small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about this island. Then start by opening up your sea chart. Isn't that weird? He has a nose. Like a human nose. It's so weird and cool. That fish should be in Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> that would be the weirdest thing ever, but... New character. Right there, fish. I'm calling it. You see that there volcano that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah, well, they say there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. The thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come shooting off the top. If you want to get inside, you ought to go find the island that's one square north and four squares, squares west of here. That's where the power to freeze anything is hidden. Or so they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt to look cry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. Gosh, he was a long-winded fish. But I know what's in there. Maybe, kind of. It's one of two things. Either the power bracelets or the iron boots. Yep, it's one of those things. And, uh... Ah! Wrong, wrong thing. The island he says to go to, so you can freeze everything, that's Mother Child Island. However, you can't get in there until you've, um, gone to Tower of the Gods and get the bow, because you need the bow to shoot the other flying frogs. It will teach you different songs so that you can teleport around the sea, and then you can teleport right into Mother Child Island. That's right, I know stuff. Oh, 20 rupees! My gosh, rupees look tasty. <laughs> I, I don't know. But they, they do. <gasps> it's evening. It's stormy. Uh oh. I'm scared. The music stopped. Rain! Rain! Last awesome, moment of rain. And I really think Nintendo should start making their controllers like the uh, GameCube controllers. Not exactly the shape. <clears throat> I know the GameCube controller is like everybody's favorite controller. Nintendo controller, anyway. At least for Super Smash Brothers. But I mean the L and R buttons. How they are more like a real trigger. How you, know, you can go down like halfway and then you push again and there's the click. I think they should do that. Make the new controllers like that. So I remember... Well, actually, I only remember one game being able to use that, and that was Super Mario Sunshine. 
And if you didn't hold the button down all the way, you could run while spraying water. And if you held down all the way, you could aim where you're spraying the water. Well, I'm like way off to the side here. How do I get out of here? There we go. Missing these islands like that one. We'll get back to it. Ah! I think that might be the island up ahead that we need to go to. Is that the island right there, or is it the one way over on the left? Oh, it's way over on the left. I've seen the fish. I don't think I can make it. Without changing the wind direction. Oh, I could have stopped there. Darn it! Oh, well. Hmm. So peaceful out here on the seas, isn't it? The island looks like a nose. Or not like a nose. It looks like it has a nose. It looks like it could be a face. Actually, both of them do. Ha! I think that's on purpose. It kind of looks like they're facing each other, too. Yeah, that's awesome. I love it. Oh, look at the deco leaf. I think that's probably my favorite item in this one. Hey. Hey. Yes. Do you not see what rises up from the horizon? Who's talking? Was it the pirate? Is it the pirate? That is where you must go, Zay, the forest haven. I don't know who it was. It is in this one! The island that was way on the right. It's where that place is where you can show that guy your pictures of people and he would make like a statue of them or something. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface, but it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku tree. I think in Breath of the Wild, I think Zelda called him the Deku tree, but I am not entirely sure. It might have been her accent. You must speak with the Deku tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as the Pharaoh's Pearl. Oh, it, is, it has been him talking. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached the most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Zaid. Always, Ulster. Hey, Beetle! You made it! Maybe that's what you get. Maybe that's something good that'll happen. Whoa! Give me your seed. Baco Baba Seed, you can keep it up your spo- Oh, God. <laughs> Keep it in or keep it up. Keep it in! Oh, here. Here, buddy. This is the source of the evil plant's magic. Perhaps you can find someone to cook it up. Its magic can be unleashed. Turn to a stick! That's right, mister. I'm gonna beat you to death with your friend. If you're hungry, try a piece of your friend. Eh! Yeah. I love that movie. I was gonna make a part two. That was a quote, though. I'll leave it to you to figure out, you know, what harbor it came from. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> it's funny how the stick, it just, like, falls over immediately. Okay, I don't, I'll, I'll take this out. I don't want to accidentally use any bait. Not to be a bad thing, I have an excuse then to get more points. Whoa! No! Swim! Ugh! What the dickens? What's that rock? It was an octa rock. Shooter. Shooter guy. Hmm. They're looking more squiddy in this one. It's in 
squid to rock. An inkling to rock. Inkling. Ah! Whoa, Betty. Eh. Come on, mister. <laughs> yeah! I love that. We need more enemies like that. Gotta get over the fast, deep current. Sploosh! <laughs> water. I like water a lot. Time is running short, so we may be able to save the Deku tree, and that will probably be it for Chapter 7. Good view of the leaves. Yeah, he's got lots of blemishes. Look at all those yutes. Spin! Spin! I pushed the around spin button. I was like going nutters with the joystick. And maybe that's why it's not. Ooh, first green slime! Green true jelly, pardon me. Keep it in your spoils bag. Use uses magic Latin essence. I did not say use it. What? Hey! You're making him sad again. I don't think that ever happened to me before. I'm going back up. And didn't I hit? No, I didn't. So I guess I stopped to get the jelly. And right here is where we're going to cut it, when the Great Deco Tree is talking and we can understand him. So that's the end of Chapter 7. Stay tuned for Chapter 8. And as always, please buy my books. Links are in the description below. Also, please like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter for fun stuff. And have a good